Hey folks, Michael McGee here. It is a rainy, cold day in Tennessee. A very good day to be butchering a deer. But, of course, deer season is closed, and I'm sure you're thinking, how in the world? No, you're not thinking that because you saw the title. This deer is a roadkill deer. A friend of mine found it on the side of the road, and it was unable to get up completely disabled but alive so he finished it off and then gave me a call i drove about an hour and a half round trip to get this but it was worth it there's probably 20 to 30 pounds of good organic great meat here but we will find as we skin it if some of the meat's damaged and cannot be used or if it's all in good shape now i am not a stranger to roadkill deer in some states, it's probably illegal to, to take deer from the road. In Tennessee, it's very legal. And in a lot of states that used to be illegal have smartened up and have started allowing roadkill deer to be picked up and harvested under different conditions. Most time you need to notify a game warden or a law official of some type. Now, it is raining out here, literally. So I'm not gonna set my camera out here and skin this deer on camera. I've got other deer skinning videos. You can go back and look at the one that we call uh, aging deer on ice. And uh, there's another one or two back in there that uh, you can look at if you wanna see how to skin a deer. But most of you guys already know how to skin a deer. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hang this deer up right quick and skin it, and then we'll look over it and see if there's any damage. All right, it just continues to rain, but as you can see, I've got the deer skinned, and I want you to look, I got very fortunate. This deer doesn't have any more damage on it than a deer would have if it was shot with a gun, which is normally how deer are harvested. Usually on a roadkill deer, you might have to pitch out a entire shoulder or an entire like a back strap or a hind quarter. But this time we got very fortunate. It looks like there was very minor damage. Now right here you can see on this hind quarter, I did have to cut away a good bit of the outer membrane simply because it was bruised and a lot of blood pooled on the outside. It wasn't a deep tissue bruise. It was just an external superficial bruise that we were able to easily clean up. So. We're happy about that. We're gonna get this thing cut up and I'm going to show you the trick because there are possibly other bruises that will be more internal. It's probably inevitable to be a little bit of that, but you know what? Same thing applies to a gunshot deer. So I'm gonna show you how that we take care of the, say a gunshot, bloodshot, or bumper shot meat so the first thing you're going to do is quarter the carcass and you're going to take all four legs you're going to take the ribs cut them off and you're going to take the back straps i always leave the back straps together on the on the spine for this process because um the less cutting you have to do it's just a little bit easier and sometimes we like to actually take both sides and make steaks or a nice big roast out of that. It's like a ribeye, spare rib roast or something like that they call it. Absolutely delicious. So after you get it cut up, what you're gonna do, each time you cut the piece up, you're gonna take it and put it in cold water, preferably in, either in a large ice chest or in a large sink where you can easily drain the water out when, when you're done. Now, after about a day, you're gonna, your water's gonna be pretty red, and that is a good thing. You wanna get that bloodshot, bruised meat cleaned up. And that applies to all deer, unless somehow you make a fabulous uh, headshot or something to where you don't have any bruised meat at all. But usually a, gun, a gunshot wound, even a bow and arrow wound is gonna, is gonna have a little bloodshot area. You can cut that out and throw it away, or you can clean it up. Deer hearts are extremely good to eat. We eat every deer heart, pig heart, any kind of heart that we can get a hold of. So obviously the question is, is it safe? Is it, is it safe to eat? And I'm gonna say, you gotta be the judge of that. If it's very hot weather, unless you saw the deer get hit, 
I wouldn't fool with it. In cold weather, which I would say like 50 degrees, 50 degrees and lower, you got a little more window of time and meat in like 41 degrees, like what we got right now, it does not spoil very fast at all. It's actually about a good temperature for it to hang. So don't worry about meat in that condition being spoiled. Just worry about cutting out the bad parts and save what's good. And in today's society right now, there's people going to the store to buy meat and there ain't no meat on the shelf. <laughs> and they might drive right past this right here, be 20 pounds, 30 pounds of free, very good lean meat and just leave it there to rot. And that's a shame. And people perish for lack of wisdom. That is a very uh, famous quote straight out of the Bible. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Let's not perish or go hungry because we lack the knowledge or the ambition to get out and get something that's just going to waste anyway that's perfectly legal. So I know I'm talking to a very small percentage of you that would actually try this, but to those of you who have the ambition to do this, I would recommend try it out. Just because a vehicle makes contact with that deer in the road does not change the quality of that meat unless it just destroys that meat. Simply throwing the term roadkill in there doesn't all of a sudden just make it poisonous, so. <laughs> That's the last piece. If there's anything on earth that would break my heart would be for to see meat this good rot. That would make me very up, unhappy, very sad. And it happens every day and there's nothing that can be done about it. But I can tell you, anytime I get a chance to do something about it, I'm going to do something about it. And I hope that I can convince at least one or two of you to do something about it yourself. A lot of money's worth of meat going to waste beautiful beautiful delicious and healthy meat so i appreciate you guys watching me i know a lot of people get grossed out about the word roadkill a few people get grossed out about saying eat a deer but that's not my problem you guys have a great day we'll see you on the next video